The DLVO theory is named after Boris Derjagan and Lev Landau, Evert Vouet and Theodore Overbeek. The theory explains the aggregation of aqueous dispersions quantitatively and describes the force between charged surfaces interacting through a liquid medium. It combines the effects of the van der Waals attraction and the electrostatic repulsion due to the so-called double layer of counterions. The electrostatic part of the DLVO interaction is computed in the mean field approximation in the limit of low surface potentials, that is when the potential energy of an elementary charge on the surface is much smaller than the thermal energy scale K B T for two spheres of radius a display styler each having a charge Z display style Z expressed in units of the elementary charge separated by a center to center distance a display style R in a fluid of dielectric constant ER Display style epsilon underscore r containing a concentration n display style n of monovalent ions. The electrostatic potential takes the form of a screened Coulomb or Yukawa potential beta u r equals z two lambda b e Kappa a one plus Kappa a two E minus Kappa R R Display style beta U R equals Z carrot two Lambda underscore B left Frac E carrot Kappa a one plus Kappa a right carrot two Frac E carrot Kappa R R where lambda b display style lambda underscore b is the Bierum length kappa minus one display style kappa caret minus one is the Debye Huckel screening length, which is given by kappa two equals four pi lambda B N display style kappa carrot two equals four pi lambda underscore B N and beta minus one equals K B T display style beta carrot minus one equals K underscore B T is the thermal energy scale at absolute temperature T display style T topic overview DLVO theory is a dispersion stabilizing theory in which zeta potential is used to explain that as two particles approach one another their ionic atmospheres begin to overlap and a repulsion force is developed in this theory, two forces are considered to impact of colloidal stability, van der Waals forces and Coulombic entropic forces. The total potential energy is described as the sum of the attraction potential and the repulsion potential. When two particles approach each other, electrostatic repulsion increases and the interference between their electrical double layers increases. Meanwhile, the van der Waals attraction increases as they get closer. At each distance, the net potential energy of the smaller value is subtracted from the larger value. The combination of these forces results in a deep attractive well, which is referred to as the primary minimum. At larger distances, the energy profile goes through a maximum energy barrier, and subsequently passes through a shallow minimum, which is referred to as the secondary minimum. At maximum energy barrier, repulsion is greater than attraction. Particles rebound after interparticle contact, and remain dispersed throughout the medium. The maximum energy needs to be greater than the thermal energy. Otherwise, particles will aggregate due to the attraction potential. The height of the barrier indicates how stable the system is. 
Since particles have to overcome this barrier in order to aggregate, two particles on a collision course must have sufficient kinetic energy due to their velocity and mass. If the barrier is cleared, then the net interaction is all attractive, and as a result the particles aggregate. This inner region is often referred to as an energy trap since the colloids can be considered to be trapped together by van der Waals forces. For a colloidal system, the thermodynamic equilibrium state may be reached when the particles are in deep primary minimum. At primary minimum, attractive forces overpower the repulsive forces at low molecular distances. Particles coagulate and this process is not reversible. However, when the maximum energy barrier is too high to overcome, the colloid particles may stay in the secondary minimum, where particles are held together weaker than the primary minimum. Particles form weak attractions but are easily redispersed. Thus, the adhesion at secondary minimum can be reversible. History In 1923, Debye and Huckel reported the first successful theory for the distribution of charges in ionic solutions. The framework of linearized Debye Huckel theory subsequently was applied to colloidal dispersions by Levine and Dube, who found that charged colloidal particles should experience a strong medium range repulsion and a weaker long range attraction. This theory did not explain the observed instability of colloidal dispersions against irreversible aggregation in solutions of high ionic strength. In 1941, Dirjagan and Landau introduced a theory for the stability of colloidal dispersions that invoked a fundamental instability driven by strong but short-ranged van der Waals attractions countered by the stabilizing influence of electrostatic repulsions. Seven years later, Vouet and Overbeek independently arrived at the same result. This so-called DLVO theory resolved the failure of the Levine-Dube theory to account for the dependence of colloidal dispersion stability on the ionic strength of the electrolyte. <laughs> <laughs> Derivation DLVO theory is the combined effect of van der Waals and double layer force. For the derivation, different conditions must be taken into account and different equations can be obtained. But some useful assumptions can effectively simplify the process, which are suitable for ordinary conditions. The simplified way to derive it is to add the two parts together. Van der Waals attraction Van der Waals force is actually the total name of dipole dipole force, dipole induced dipole force, and dispersion forces, in which dispersion forces are the most important part because they are always present. Assume that the pair potential between two atoms or small molecules is purely attractive and of the form W. Topic C R N, where C is a constant for interaction energy, decided by the molecule's property and N. Six for van der Waals attraction. With another assumption of additivity, the net interaction energy between a molecule and planar surface made up of like molecules will be the sum of the interaction energy between the molecule and every molecule in the surface body. So the net interaction energy for a molecule at a distance d away from the surface will therefore be w d equals minus 2 pi c rho 1 z equals d z equals infinity d Z x equals zero x equals infinity x d x z two plus x two three equals two pi c rho one four D infinity 
d z z 4 equals minus pi c rho 1 6 d 3 Display style W D equals minus two Pi C row underscore one int underscore Z equals D carrot Z equals inf T D Z int underscore X equals zero carrot X equals inf T frac X D X Z carrot two plus X carrot two carrot three equals frac two Pi C row underscore one four int underscore D carrot inf T frac D Z Z carrot four equals frac Pi C row underscore one six D Carrot three, where W R is the interaction energy between the molecule and the surface. Rho one display style rho underscore one is the number density of the surface. Z is the axis perpendicular with the surface and passes across the molecule. Z. Topic. D at the point where the molecule is and Z zero at the surface. X is the axis perpendicular with Z axis, where X equals zero at the intersection. Then the interaction energy of a large sphere of radius r and a flat surface can be calculated as W d equals minus two pi c row 1 row 2 12 z equals 0 z equals 2 r 2 r minus z z d z d plus Z three approximately equals minus pi two C row one row two R six D Display style W D equals frac two Pi C row underscore one row underscore two twelve int underscore Z equals zero carrot Z equals two R frac two R Z Z D Z D plus Z carrot three approx frac Pi carrot two C row underscore one row underscore two R sixty where W D is the interaction energy between the sphere and the surface row Two display style row underscore two is the number density of the sphere for convenience. Hamaker constant A is given as a equals pi two c row one row two display style A equals pi carrot two c row underscore one row underscore two and the equation will become w d equals minus a r 6 d display style w d equals frac r 6 d with a similar method and according to Durjagan approximation the van der Waals interaction energy between particles with different shapes can be calculated such as energy between Two spheres W D equals minus a six D R one R two R one plus R two Display style W D equals frac R six D frac R underscore one R underscore two R underscore one plus R underscore two Sphere surface W D equals minus A R six D Display style W D equals frac R six D 
two surfaces W D equals minus a twelve pi D two Display style W D equals frac a twelve pi D carrot two per unit area Topic Double layer force A surface in a liquid may be charged by dissociation of surface groups e.g. silanol groups for glass or silica surfaces or by adsorption of charged molecules such as polyelectrolyte from the surrounding solution. This results in the development of a wall surface potential which will attract counterions from the surrounding solution and repel co-ions. In equilibrium, the surface charge is balanced by oppositely charged counterions in solution. The region near the surface of enhanced counterion concentration is called the electrical double layer EDL. The EDL can be approximated by a subdivision into two regions. Ions in the region closest to the charged wall surface are strongly bound to the surface. This immobile layer is called the Stern or Helmholtz layer. The region adjacent to the stern layer is called the diffuse layer and contains loosely associated ions that are comparatively mobile. The total electrical double layer due to the formation of the counterion layers results in electrostatic screening of the wall charge and minimizes the Gibbs free energy of EDL formation. The thickness of the diffuse electric double layer is known as the Debye screening length 1 kappa display style 1 kappa at a distance of 2 dB screening lengths the electrical potential energy is reduced to 2% of the value at the surface wall. Kappa equals I rho infinity I E 2 Z I 2 E R E 0 K B T display style kappa equals sqrt sum underscore i frac rho underscore inf ti e caret two z underscore i caret two epsilon underscore r epsilon underscore zero k underscore b t with unit of m minus one where rho infinity i display style rho underscore inf ti is the number density of ion I in the bulk solution Z is the valency of the ion. For example, H plus has a valency of plus 1 and Ca2 plus has a valency of plus 2 epsilon 0 display style var epsilon underscore 0 is the vacuum permittivity Er display style epsilon underscore R is the relative static permittivity Kb is the Boltzmann constant. The repulsive free energy per unit area between two planar surfaces is shown as W equals 64 K B T rho infinity gamma 2 kappa E minus kappa D Display style W equals frac sixty four K underscore B T row underscore in T gamma carrot two kappa E carrot kappa D where gamma display style gamma is the reduced surface potential gamma equals than Z E psi zero four K T display style gamma equals than left frac z psi underscore zero four kt right psi zero display style psi underscore zero is the potential on the surface. The interaction free energy between two spheres of radius r is w equals sixty four pi k B T R rho infinity gamma 
2 kappa 2 e minus kappa d display style w equals frac 64 pi k underscore b t r row underscore inf t gamma caret 2 kappa caret 2 e caret kappa d Combining the van der Waals interaction energy and the double layer interaction energy, the interaction between two particles or two surfaces in a liquid can be expressed as W D equals W D A plus W D R Display style W left D right equals W D underscore R plus W D underscore R where W D R is the repulsive interaction energy due to electric repulsion and W D A is the attractive interaction energy due to van der Waals interaction. Topic Application Since the 1940s, the DLVO theory has been used to explain phenomena found in colloidal science, adsorption and many other fields. Due to the more recent popularity of nanoparticle research, DLVO theory has become even more popular because it can be used to explain behavior of both material nanoparticles such as fullerene particles and microorganisms. Shortcomings Additional forces beyond the DLVO construct have been reported to also play a major role in determining colloid stability. DLVO theory is not effective in describing ordering processes such as the evolution of colloidal crystals in dilute dispersions with low salt concentrations. It also cannot explain the relation between the formation of colloidal crystals and salt concentrations. <laughs> 